I'm at Advanced Engineering UK Limited. I'm with Dave Richardson. I'm here to learn about their relationship uh, with Yamazaki Mazak in the UK uh, and actually really to have a look around this place because it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Dave, firstly, tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing here when it comes to industries that you're uh, manufacturing for. Yeah, we have a privately owned family company. Been going since uh, well, 40 years this year, actually. Um, we're predominantly automotive, manufacturing prototypes. Quite some history, lovely facility that you've got here. When did you move to, to this place? We moved here uh, early 2000s. Uh, we used to be based in the jewelry quarter, just out the other side of the ring road. And you've you pretty much filled this place with machine tools already, haven't you? Yes. Uh, has the last 18 years um, been, been buoyant all the way through? Pretty much, yeah. Obviously, it's uh, it's hard work, you know, building a building a company, as our MD would, I'm sure would tell you. But we, we've we've grown through significant investment in, in new machines, uh, extensions to the existing building. Um, so, and I would say, how important is that uh, within within all of this, that investment in technology and machinery? Uh, do you think that's a big part, a big influence in your business's success and growth? Yeah, a massive part, I would say, and, and the investments in sort of machinery, investments in people as well. You've got to have the right people because you can buy the machines you want, but at least you've got the people to drive those machines and the best software as well to program those machines. When engineers watch our videos, they love seeing fancy components, nice machine parts. Yes. And I've got to say, I reckon in the whole of this year, I don't think I've seen anything quite like you've got behind you yes. here. Absolutely tremendous. Is this a good example of what your machining here at Advanced Engineering? Yeah, it's a good example of what we can machine and what we're capable of. We don't machine components like this all of the time, but uh, we are capable of doing that if required by the customer. Uh, your Mazak machine tools, uh, yes. we've said already, big part of the, the growth yes. of this company. You've got machines now that are maybe sort of 18 years old, have you? Is well, that your... Our oldest Mazak's 11 years old. So, so uh, this is quite a new quite venture new, into their technology. Venture, yeah. So we've, we've got sort of a 19 Mazak machines here, the oldest of which is 11 years old. And we've got another one on order at the moment as well, which is coming in uh, at the end of October. You're a bit like some people I know that when, when a new model of a car comes out, yes. they always want to be the first to have yes. it. You're, you're kind of a, an illustration of that here, aren't you? Certainly with uh, the i600s, the hybrid technology yes. that you've, you've got over there. Is it a hybrid machine? Uh, a Hypervariax. Hypervariax. Yes. 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 And, and that Hypervariax, that's a linear a linear motor machine. Why did you buy that that level of technology? Did you need it? Uh, for accuracy, really. And, it, and it, was, it was one of those things, like you say, it was the latest thing they'd bought out. We were buying a new machine at the time and we wanted the latest and best available. And what would that linear drive motor offer the company? Would it, would it give you better accuracy? I know they're faster. Yeah, better accuracy here and, and faster. And, and what we're after here is repeatability. And also with a linear drive motor, there's less wear on, on, on hardware, isn't there? Because of, uh, yeah, there's no ball screws or anything like that. Yeah, exactly, yes. Uh, the machines behind us as well, I'm a big fan of these, these yes. i600s, yes. getting in, setting the machines, very easy to use. Is it, it, was that, was that yeah. one of the influences the, the in the big, big selling factor, really, again. We, we were at the point where we were buying new machines. The smooth control had just come out, so we actually waited for the smooth control before ordering, because it was coming out. I, I've heard a lot from Mazak about smooth. I want to now hear it from a user. How good is it? Yeah, well, we, we, uh, we did the same component on our i500, which is Mazak as well and then did the same component, same program, same post, program with the same software on the i600. We found about a 20% saving inside the time. 20% saving, just as a result of the, the software. That's yeah. pretty impressive. How many of your machines have got that smooth on them then? We, we've got these two i600s here that have got smooth on. Uh, we've got a, a live that came in last week, which is a quick turn 250, which got smooth on as well. Based on that saving, wouldn't that be an argument for you to replace some of your older machines that don't have smooth? to that newer technology because you could get a quick return can you we could do yeah but it's a it's a massive amount of investment to you know you're talking machines that are sort of 300 grand plus and to replace them all at once we couldn't finance that <laughs> what, what about the hardware what about the hardware of the machines the reliability you work them hard evidently yes. with some of the parts here um, do they serve the purpose last the test of time serve the purpose last the test of time you know our, our oldest machine we can still get a job off that's just as accurate as the newest machines, but we have them regularly serviced. We've got uh, TPM schedules in place here ourselves, so we continually make sure they're maintained and looked after. 
And the machines that you do have, I know these are single pallet machines, but you've also got the twin pallet offering as well, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Does that mean you're running those machines unmanned? Are you running them out, lights out? Yeah, we, we, we've, we've run a night shift here as well, so we've got a sort of scanned and crying nights that uh, run any jobs that are running. Uh, the beauty of a twin pallet machine, obviously, is you can have more than one job set up at once. Um, the beauty of the single pallet is that, as you said, you can actually get into the machine to set it, which is, which is a big plus for us, really. Um, again, we do get jobs occasionally where we will continually run a twin pallet. So while we're cycling in cycle, we'll be putting another compound on the next pallet. It will cycle down and automatically never stop. Outside of the technology, I'd like to ask you, as a, as a, um, a supplier into the automotive industry, only now a matter of months away from uh, going into uncharted waters, what with Brexit and, and so forth. Uh, how confident do you feel about your business and the industry that you're in uh, going past those times? Yeah, I feel quite confident, really, uh, quite. Obviously, nobody knows what's going to happen. It's, uh, it's unknown territory. Uh, if we leave, what's going to happen? If we stay, what's going to happen? Nobody really knows. But I think going forward, as long as you've got a service and a product that people want to buy, and it's good and the quality is right, which is a big thing for us, big push on quality also. As long as you've got that, I think people will still buy off you. 